If you're watching this video, you've probably heard of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. The game has exploded recently, becoming the first Steam game ever to break 2 million concurrent players. This popularity didn't come out of nowhere, though. The game was originally a DayZ mod before it evolved into a standalone game. In this squad-based survival game, you parachute down from a plane onto an ex-Soviet island. Once you've landed, it's a race to collect all the weapons, armor, and vehicles you'll need to be the last man standing. You can play in a squad of four, as a duo, or by yourself. Professional play is done as a squad of four in the first-person perspective. We are the Knights, an organization that has consistently been at the top of the PUBG competitive scene. Over the course of this video series, we will teach you how to stay fed with chicken dinners and spend less time staring at a big goose egg in the stats screen. Because you suck at PUBG. Have you ever died by those things? No. What the? I'm so close to dying. Why is the car- No! 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 This game is hard, even punishing for new players. And you won't get good overnight. It's okay to make mistakes and learn over time. Hey, that's why you've got us. This video series will serve as a starting point for learning this admittedly overwhelming game. Every week we'll have something new for you to focus on. Each of our videos will fall under one of these four topics. Strategy will tell you about broad movement and engagement decisions. If you often find yourself on the wrong side of the blue circle, you might want to pay attention to these videos. Tactics will go a little more in-depth with specific scenarios in the game. Once you're in an engagement, these videos will show you how to handle them. With a daunting amount of weapon and attachment combos in-game, there's a lot of statistics to sift through. We'll help by showing off which weapon and attachment combos are best for specific instances in the game. Finally, every four weeks, we'll pick our favorite competitive match and walk through all the high-level decisions made by the pros. For this first week, we want to do a brief overview of basic PUBG strategy. Most of this falls under simple positioning. We found that having a good understanding of positioning alone can carry you to wins regardless of your firefight ability. A good way to maintain your positioning is to constantly ask yourself some questions. Do I have good cover in this location? Naturally, in a game about survival, the first priority when looking at a position is to minimize the damage from other players. Where is the location relative to the circle? You need to find yourself on the right side of the blue wall or you'll take damage regardless of how much cover your position has. How safely can I disengage from this location? Make sure that if you get cornered by other players or have to get closer to the circle, there is a safe path of egress. What information can I gain here? If you're holed up in a bunker, you won't be able to answer most of these questions correctly. Information is a vital resource that will keep you alive more often than ammo if used correctly. Can I engage opponents easily from here? With enough information, you should be able to avoid unnecessary engagements. You want to only start fights that are definitely in your favor for easy loot. Otherwise, you should let the other players get kills for you. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to suck less at PUBG, make sure to watch our next video where we can school you about everyone's favorite landing place. Thank <laughs> you.